In this video we're going to talk about horizontal asymptotes and how to find the horizontal asymptote of a rational function. So how do we do this? How can we find the horizontal asymptote, if any, uh, of some rational function uh, f of x equals p of x over q of x? Now let's suppose that uh, the polynomial in the numerator has degree m and the polynomial in the bottom in the denominator uh, has degree n. Okay, we're actually going to have three cases for horizontal asymptotes and we'll look at a couple graphs of some functions to, to see what we mean by a horizontal asymptote. We have three cases. Uh, if the, the function in the numerator has a degree that's less than the function in the denominator, then the x-axis, okay, the, the horizontal line y equals zero, is the horizontal asymptote of the function. Okay, now if it's the other way around, if the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, then there aren't any horizontal asymptotes at all. Okay, there are no horizontal asymptotes. And finally, the last case, if the numerator and denominator have the same degree, then the line y equals a over b is the horizontal asymptote, where a is the leading coefficient of the numerator, right, the polynomial in the numerator, and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. Okay, so we have these three cases. So let's illustrate this with three examples. Find the horizontal asymptote, if any, of the given function. Okay, now one thing that's nice about horizontal asymptotes is we don't have to factor anything. Okay, we had to do that with vertical asymptotes, but not horizontal asymptotes. So notice the degree of the numerator here, we have a linear function in the numerator, that's degree one. The degree of the denominator is three. So we have a bigger uh, degree of their numerator or our denominator than we do of the numerator. So in this case, what we get is that y equals zero, okay, or the x-axis is the horizontal asymptote of our function. Now I've gone over in Desmos and I've graphed uh, this function here, and notice we have some vertical asymptotes here that you would get by factoring the denominator, but the horizontal asymptote I said is the is the uh, x-axis. So notice if we go further and further to the right, this this graph is going to get closer and closer to the x-axis. Okay, so the x-axis or this line y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote. The same thing happens if we go further and further to the left. This is going to get closer and closer and closer to the x-axis. Now in the next example, we see that the numerator has a, a degree uh, that's bigger than the degree of the denominator. We have a third degree polynomial in the numerator, but only a second degree polynomial in the denominator. Okay, so what do we have in this case? Well, we have no horizontal asymptote. Okay, no horizontal asymptote. Okay, if we went over and looked at the graph, this is what we would get. Okay, see our graph, notice that if we kind of zoom out a little bit, it's not getting closer and closer and closer to some line as we move further and further to the right, some horizontal line anyway. Now we do have what's called an oblique asymptote. Okay, it's getting closer and closer to this line here. Okay, but that's not a horizontal line. Okay, that's a line that has a slope that, that's not zero, right? And we're not going to worry about oblique asymptotes for right now. Okay, so, so we uh, don't have any horizontal asymptotes uh, of, our, of our graph. Okay, and our last example is this function, f of x equals 7x squared plus 2x plus 9 over 2x squared minus 10x plus 4. Notice they have the same degree, they're both quadratic or degree 2 polynomials. So our horizontal asymptote in this case is going to be y equals, now remember it's the leading coefficient, okay, the coefficient of the highest degree term in the numerator, 7, over the leading coefficient of the denominator, which is 2. So the line y equals 7 uh, halves, now that's a horizontal line, that's the horizontal uh, asymptote of the graph of this function. And here is the graph. Now it's a little tricky to see, so let me also uh, draw in that horizontal line, y equals 7 halves. Okay, notice it's this purple line, it's that horizontal line, y equals 7 halves. Now y equals 0, of course, would be the x-axis, right? But notice, this y equals 7 halves, that's the horizontal asymptote. So if we went further and further to the right, or if we zoom out a little bit, and then go further and further to the right, notice it's going to get closer and closer to that line if we go further right. And the same thing happens if we go further and further left. Okay, so that line is a horizontal asymptote of, of the graph of this function. So once again, we have three cases with horizontal asymptotes. If the degree in the denominator is bigger than the degree in the numerator, then y equals zero, or the x-axis will be a horizontal asymptote. 
if the degree in the numerator is bigger than the degree in the denominator, then you don't have any horizontal asymptote at all. You might have an oblique asymptote or something like that, but no horizontal asymptote. And if they have the same degree, then you're going to have y equals the leading coefficient of the top function divided by the leading coefficient of the bottom function, in this case y equals 7 halves, that will be the horizontal asymptote. Notice that a graph cannot of a rational function, anyway, cannot have more than one horizontal asymptote. So that's why I said find the horizontal asymptote singular uh, of the given function. Okay, it's possible though to not have a horizontal asymptote as in case b here. And finally, notice that with horizontal asymptotes, it's pretty easy to find them, right? There was no calculation really involved in these problems, unlike with vertical asymptotes where we had to do some work. We had to factor uh, the, the numerator and the denominator.